our nice leftover breakfast from one day ago or two days ago. <laughs> cheese, 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 cheese. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning guys! Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle! We're here in the town of Kabali in Azerbaijan and yesterday was a crazy rainstorm. Wow, it is absolutely crazy raining right now! Oh my god, it's horrible! Seriously, it rained for like the entire night. We really didn't know if we were going to be able to hit the road this morning but it is looking a lot better. I think we're gonna give it a go. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we'll be following this road towards the historic town of Sheki before continuing further towards the border to Georgia. So we have a couple of cool places to visit today. The first visit is about one and a half hours away and it's already 10 o'clock, so better hit the road, let's go. This is an amazing product. A little USB tire gauge slash pump. You just screw on the nozzle. You set the pressure on here. So at the moment, setting it to 38 PSI on the front. Hook up to the tire, let's see what pressure we're at already. We are at 34 in the front. So then we just press go. There you go, look at that. Four Magic. PSI in like 10 seconds. Magic. 42 in the back. So this should always be done when the tires are cold. So it's always good to do it first thing in the morning, get the tire pressure sorted, and you're ready to start the day. Here we go. You're gonna be safe today? Yeah. If you ride safe. I always gotta ride safe. Okay. Are you ready to start the day? By the way, look at the condition of Bumblebee after yesterday's ride. Oh my lord. Bumblebee is covered in mud. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, Bumblebee was spotless when she arrived in Azerbaijan. I think it doesn't make any sense to clean your bike. <laughs> ever. Ever. Just ever. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say as well that whilst I was at customs at the ferry port, I got one of the customs officers to ride Azerbaijan on our box. But unfortunately, I couldn't film it because the whole area was like, don't film. Even though I did secretly film a little bit. <laughs> Okay, ready to hit the road? Yo! Okay, let's do it. Bye, have a nice day. <laughs> Bye, Pasha. Bye, Pasha. Pasha's the cat. That cat loved us. Do we have space for it? Oh, yeah. ah. You're so graceful. <laughs> okay. See that? I tip the bike upwards with my like momentum from jumping on. You're so graceful. <laughs> England, here we come! <laughs> oh, little puppies. No way, look at these tiny, tiny puppies on the road. Aww. They are literally like a couple of weeks old, it looks like. Yeah. Wow. Wow, they're so cute! What a misty morning, hey? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, look at the mountains. Beautiful. I've got to take a look at this river. It looks crazy. Whoa, look at this. <gasps> Whoa. That was some serious rain yesterday. I never saw a black river like that. Yeah. Ever in my life. I never saw anything like that. I mean, it looks like oil is just floating down here. You can hear all the like little bits of rock and stuff. It's like do 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 do. It's like smashing against the banks. Yeah. Crazy. Do you want to go out into there? Whoa. Wow, that's absolutely crazy. Look over there. I'm just really glad it's not raining now. It could still be a wet day to come. So much rain last night. Rain. It's crazy. England, Germany. Hello. Hello. I'm from? from England and, England and Germany. German? Yes. yes. 
Uh, first time. Where are you going? Uh, we are going now to Georgia. Georgia? Yes. What's your name? Uh, name Oliver. Oliver. Oliver and Lavinia. Are you here with your wife? Yes. Yes. Hey, what's your What's your name? Bugar. Bugar. Nice to meet you, Bugar. Yes. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Weather very nice today. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> bye bye. Herd of cows on the road, herd of cows on the road. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. Good morning everyone. I just can't believe how green already it is here. Yeah. Just yesterday we were in the middle of like the desert, completely arid, and now it's like super green, super wet here. Okay, I think this is a first. We've got a bunch of geese crossing. <laughs> That's a gander of geese. I think that's our first goose roadblock. Yes. Hey, look at these guys in the horse and cart. <laughs> <laughs> there are literally cows everywhere though guys, seriously. There's cows all over the streets here. Apparently they don't believe in putting them in fields behind fences. And a donkey. Oh, hello. I think they're just there to like mow the lawn actually in front of the houses. Yeah, that's true. They do one. keep all the grass really nice and short everywhere, yeah. hey? It looks neat. It does. Okay, now I'm convinced that Azerbaijan is just the land of animals crossing the road. <laughs> Seriously, this is a group of turkeys. <laughs> Hello, Hello guys. guys. Whoa, that's crazy. So we've had geese. We've had sheep, we've had cows, and we've had turkeys. And humans. And humans crossing the road as well. <laughs> what animal is coming next in Azerbaijan? It's time to take off the GoPro Media Mod because we are hitting the rain. Oh yes, it looks really bad actually. It looks really bad ahead. I thought it's brightening up a little bit. It looked like it was brightening up. Yeah. Until it didn't. Anyway, we'll see you guys at the first point of interest, Sheki Castle. All right, let's see if I can put the stand down. Yeah. Yep, put it in gear, yep. Perfect! Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look. So we are here in the old town of Sheki and we've just entered Sheki Fortress. So Sheki Fortress was built in the 1700s by the Sheki Khanate, which ran from 1743 to 1819. It's basically one giant walled summer residence for the Sheki Khanate. And in the middle of this fortress is the Sheki Palace, which we're gonna be seeing after. The instrument. Ah, instrument. Today. 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 Ah, today. Nagara. 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 Today. Nagara. Today. Nagara. Nagara. That's cool. So we're just entering Sheki Khan's palace grounds. Now you're not allowed to take pictures or video inside the palace, but this is what it looks like from the outside. It's incredibly ornate and really super beautiful. 
Just look at this amazing, intricate, traditional window design. You've got little bits of wood, and in between each piece of wood is a little bit of glass that's been cut just perfectly to fit in between. Magical. Really nice. Let's check out the room inside. A few moments later. That has to be possibly the most ornate collection of rooms I've ever seen in my life. The whole room was hand painted in different like pictures and with flowers and there were like stories on the walls. It was amazing. I'm gonna try and find some pictures of it online. So this is what it looked like. There you go, you're not supposed to take photos, but it was quite easy to find some. So there we go, the beautiful, ornate palace of Sheki Khan. So this fortress has more than 1,300 meters of walls, just like these. That's one hell of a summer residence. <laughs> so the grounds of Sheki Fortress have been used for various purposes over the years, including as a Russian military base. This building behind us is actually currently used as an institute for Sheki pottery to restore the cultural pottery traditions of the Sheki region. Welcome to Sheki. Bye Th bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank nice you. To you. Nice, to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This guy's selling ice cream, but uh, it's very cloudy and not very hot today, so nobody wants an ice cream. <laughs> Goodbye. What a cool historic town Sheki is. Really, really, really nice buildings here. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice to delve into a bit of Azerbaijani history that's for sure yeah but so now it's time to leave historic Sheki behind because we've decided we have enough time to reach the border to Georgia today and perhaps even cross the border today we'll give it a go it says we'll arrive there at half past four which should be plenty of time to get across if we do make it across we'll be staying in the first town we get to which is basically just over the border which is apparently a very very nice town just built on the edge of a forest look at these buildings beautiful and the balconies yeah beautiful that's amazing so our navigation says is 67 miles to the border of georgia and about one hour 45 so let's hope that we will make it without getting wet <laughs> just came out thank you thank you for being back we missed you <laughs> we've been like two days out of the desert and now we're like come back <laughs> son come back yes <laughs> oh man we've just been too spoiled haven't we we've been too spoiled with endless sunshine in kazakhstan yes i was sometimes mad even with the sun you know yeah we wake up in the morning oh another sunny day yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean, after this trip here, we have been sort of two years in the summer. Forever chasing the sun. Forever. Forty thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine point nine. We just reached 41,000 miles on the road! <laughs> They're all shaking their bum! <laughs> That's so cute! Alright, I think we are arriving at the Azerbaijan-Georgia border. Yeah, let's check it out, hey? Yep. 
doesn't look that busy at the moment i think the border shouldn't be very busy because um azerbaijan's land border is actually closed but from what we've read that should only be for entry into azerbaijan and for us to exit should be okay fingers crossed i've read that some people have made it through so i don't know anyway at the moment the gate's closed so <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go up here yeah. park up and then see yeah. see what's going on okay all right i'm gonna turn off the camera then okay So I guess this river here separates the border between Azerbaijan and Georgia because we have just been stamped out. Bumblebee has been let out of the country, which is awesome. And now, as you can see right in front, we're about to enter Georgia. Can you believe it, hey? <laughs> happy days, nice. happy days, happy days, which happy country days. is this? Number 30, maybe. Possibly country number 30 on yeah. our round the world trip. Yeah and look the vista here oh my god that's it's absolutely beautiful here hey? totally and uh, the place we're going to be staying is only 3.6 miles up ahead so it's pretty much right on the edge of these forested mountains it looks super super nice so we've booked two nights at this place because we're going to have the day off tomorrow and do editing <laughs> oh i was planning on just sleeping <laughs> But all right, maybe we could squeeze in a little bit of editing. But the guys were so nice on the Azerbaijani side so far. They gave us a cup of tea while yeah. we were waiting. <laughs> yes. They were just really nice to us. Absolutely no problems leaving Azerbaijan. I think as well, because the land border is closed still for tourists, pretty much for everyone, which is not a truck driver yeah so the border was like really empty actually and when they saw us as tourists you know one guy took a picture of us who was working there and they were just really happy to see us yeah they're definitely not seeing very many tourists because the only way in is to fly in yeah exactly so yeah not many people exiting via the land border that's for sure i think they were laughing about my um my picture on my passport <laughs> <laughs> which looks like this I look like a prisoner <laughs> you always say to them new hair new hair and yeah. they always laugh so anyway it's half past five now we're doing pretty well so hopefully if we can get through this next bit in the next hour then yeah we'll be all good oh looks like we're going looks like we're going coming into Georgia Awesome. Yes, just 35 minutes later and we have passed the border and we have entered Georgia. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. We stopped. One guy came out and he did both passports and then he was like, yep, you can go. Yeah, similar like the Canadian border actually, which was as well super, super easy. They didn't check Bumblebee, they didn't check our bags, they didn't check anything. Then I asked them if I needed a temporary import permit or a special permit and they were like, nope, that's it. I said, do we need to give you anything when I leave the country or anything? He's like, just the passport and that's it. Super, super relaxed, super easy border. No problems with our drone, no problems with our cheese. Like the, like the Chilean border. <laughs> Unfortunately, they've told us that we can't bring our new block of cheese. We're just going to eat as much as we can of it. Not going to let it go to waste. I think we will eat all of it. <laughs> Every time they were like, no cheese. <laughs> it's true. No, this border was just like, no problem, guys. Welcome to Georgia. Yes. Really nice, guys. So the first thing we have to do is get insurance for Bumblebee. And they told us that the insurance company it should be on the left coming up just in a minute. But so far we didn't have to pay anything to get into Georgia. Yeah, they had an ATM there as well where we could just get some money and we could exchange our money as well. It's just here literally. Yeah, that's it's it. Cool. It's just here. Amazing. So yeah, we'll just get ourselves an insurance policy for Georgia and then yeah. we should be good to go to our accommodation. Good to go. Compulsory insurance center. Yes. It's definitely the right place. Awesome. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. How do you say Georgia? Sacatuelo. Sacatuelo. Okay. Amazing. Wow, the Georgian language looks so good, no? Amazing. So we got our insurance policy. 
cost us 20 local currency how much was how much is 20 i think it's not much like less than 10 pounds all right ready to rock and roll bye bye Awesome! That was super easy, sorted in 10 minutes. Yes, and I think it's so cool that this one guy was actually from Kyrgyzstan and is like, yes, we have been in Kyrgyzstan, we loved it! <laughs> it's so cool! It's just nice when you meet people and you know then how the country looks like where they are from. It's amazing, I love it. Absolutely love it. Look at all these trucks waiting to get into Azerbaijan. Insane. Wow, those guys Insane. are uh, they're not rushing at the Azerbaijan border, hey? Wow. <laughs> they're not rushing. Most of these plates here say TR on them. TR, what's TR? Turkey. Ah. <laughs> Literally on the other side of Georgia. So a lot of Turkish truck drivers coming through to Azerbaijan. Awesome. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, and this is the town we're going to be staying in for the next two days Lagodehi and what a beautiful surrounding for the town hey look at that stunning, man. some stunning. amazing mountains yeah all right so the accommodation should be coming up just here Cool. 64 Freedom Street. Yeah, I like the name. Oh. <laughs> 64 Freedom Street, this one? Maybe it's this one. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so <laughs> we've gone to two different places now to try to find the place that we're staying and both of them are like no it's not me so it wasn't the one at the top of the road here then we came to this place and they said it's not them but they said that we're staying here in the one next to them but no one's in no. so they called the owner and the owner said they're going to be like 15 20 minutes so we decided we're going to go to a restaurant which is just up the road mm -hmm. go get dinner mm -hmm. and then come back check into our room for a nice cozy night. Guys, this restaurant we found is absolutely amazing. Look at this place. It's so beautiful here. So we were recommended to come here by the guys that helped us out to contact the host. But when we arrived here, we were like, it's gotta be too expensive for us. It looks way too fancy, but it's not. It's actually quite cheap. It's like a pizza is about five pounds. This dish cost around two or three pounds. Such a good price and the food looks absolutely amazing. Look at this. So anyway, we're gonna eat this and then have round two, trying to get into a room. Hoo <laughs> yeah. All right. Whoa. Yeah, is it dark now or what? Look at this. This one here, hey? Okay, let's see if they're in this time. We made it! Happy to live! So we made it here to the place and actually the lady next door, she called the owner and apparently the owner will arrive here in 10 minutes. So we will just wait here patiently. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time.